be on our YouTube, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. So I am just want to preface it, this is like April 2nd. This is a series of vlogs that I had started like this January, like little clips before and after my hospitalization. So I have a lot of random clips. I have, like, I have kind of tried to do some text to kind of guide you a little bit, but I just wanted to kind of apologize that there's not really like a whole lot there. I just put in the clips that I had so I can kind of close it out and start a new vlog again. Um, and so I was just kind of getting back in the habit of vlogging because I kind of like, with being so sick, I just kind of stopped doing it and then it was hard to get back in the habit of doing it again. Audio sucks. I really, I know, I'm so sorry, audio sucks. Microphone, I have it, and now I'm just waiting on my jack adapter thing so I can plug it in. And that should be here in a couple days. So you will have much better audio coming soon, I promise. Okay, I love you guys. Uh, I'll see you at the end of the video. <laughs> or you will see me at the end of the video. Okay. It is Sunday evening, and I went with my friend Misty to go to church service tonight. And her kiddos wanted to go get them some dinner, so we're waiting in the Taco Bell parking lot. So, oh yes. How was church service, you guys? It was good. We made so many friends, it was good. Good. How about you, Julia? Was it fun? Yeah. Yeah. You guys hung. You guys hungry? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Oh yes. Say, mom, hurry up and get that food, huh? <laughs> Are you ready for your bath? Go in. Are you mad? Are you? You're all done with your bath. Yay! Do it again. Do it again. Go get her. Go get grandma. Go get grandma. Go get her. Go get her. Go get her. Hey guys, sorry I've been like a horrible vlogger the last couple weeks since I've been home. But I'm here at Oregon Clinic to my GI doctor and today's appointment was set up from the hospital to see about being a new port. Because Stop touching time, your face. A nurse come and put IVs in every few days. Last night though my IV blew in the middle of getting fluids so I have to have a nurse come out around 1 today to put in a new one. We're gonna find out today if he thinks it's safe to do another port or if not what we're gonna do and, and then I also got a call yesterday that I need IV iron they rechecked my my storage iron so your your ferritin levels are your storage iron so when your iron gets low your body pulls from the storage iron and so she always checks my storage iron because if that's low that means my irons already gone so my storage iron is really low so she's gonna do some IV iron so I have to set that up and then tomorrow I saw my primary care doctor yes or the, the other day I think it was too I mean it, like, concerned stop. about the nodules because they are solid he wants me to have another CT now I'm scheduled to have that CT tomorrow so hopefully that comes back fine our primary care doctor was like we're worried about possible cancer so that's kind of scary but hopefully it'll be fine i have been having fevers off and on since the hospital and more so the last like few days so my primary care doctor did draw blood cultures to make sure my infection's not back got a call back to rush to the er so i'm pretty sure it was negative because that's been like three days now so that's good news i'm gonna go in now and get this done <laughs>
effort today. So I am super excited and nervous at the same time, but excited on with these IVs. But because I'm so nervous, because of course it's another procedure, but wish me luck and I will see you afterwards. All right, I made it out of there. No more IVs. I've got my port in. And they accessed it for me already, so I don't have to have a home health nurse come for a couple days. And now we're gonna go see Kayla Susano. So, see you later. my YouTube videos and drinking some black iced tea. I have been craving this black iced tea for so long. I'm so excited to drink it while I work on my stuff. And there's Kalani just sitting there, Miss Shaggy Dog. You need another grooming appointment, huh? <laughs> yes, you do. This is kind of what my morning looks like if I have an infusion day, kind of set everything up. So I have my IV bag here of sealing ready to go. This is the pump for it. No, you big dummy, that is not the pump, that's the IV tubing that goes into the pump and the IV bag. Ugh. I have plenty of saline flushes to flush my Zofran and get the IV going before and then after my IV is done. Heparin for when the IV is done to flush it. I have to leave this in my line to make sure that there is no blood clot. Syringes to draw up the medication. Plenty of alcohol wipes. And then this is the Zofran. And then this is sodium chloride that you mix the Zofran with. And then these are my gauze to change my J-tube dressing with that I have to do twice a day. So that is just a typical morning and that's not my J-tube either. I just got done changing my J-tube feed as well. which um, And I just got done crushing my J-tube medications and pushing those through, which takes forever. So here is the next 20 minutes or so of my life. Three hours later. Procedure, but okay. I'm in the car. I'm waiting here for a few minutes because I am like super 
trying to get back to the car. I was like, I'm too stubborn to like just sit down. I'm like, I gotta make a keep card, gotta make a keep card, gotta make a keep card. Um, a lot of times my mom will come with me and help me get to places and like drive me. So I, because I get so dizzy all the time, the coronavirus, they didn't want like anyone to have visitors if they were like able to have, if they were able to make it on their own and I was doing okay yesterday so that's the thing with pots it's like you just you don't know um and so like I was doing okay yesterday so I was like okay I should be able to get today it's fine I have to go home and get my fluid started too because I think I'm dehydrated I gotta go do that guys um this is probably been like the most longest vlog ever before this gets too long I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog uh, just a quick update. The blood culture came back negative. I still no growth, so the infection that I have going on is just probably localized. So we're just gonna keep a close eye on it. Other than that, I hope everyone is staying safe. But thank you again for watching. Thank you for bearing with me with the bad sound too. My microphone on my iPhone is horrible. I'm trying to wait until I can get the iPhone 11 Pro and I'm hoping that might have a better mic but I'm also trying to save up to get a mic to plug into my iPhone until I can get like an actual vlogging camera with a better system and stuff so thanks for hanging with me with me for all of that don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button if you like this video give it a thumbs up um, and please turn on those post notifications if you are subscribed and haven't done so already, that way you don't miss any videos and you're notified when I do post. Alright, love, thank you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Hope you're all staying safe. I love you. Bye. Everything changes.